Hi, good morning to all. Ragging in educational institutions has been a matter of great concern for long. Ragging has become more of a norm than an exception in a number of educational institutions across the country. It is done behind the facade of welcoming new students. A couple of years ago, a study financed by the UGC was carried out by a committee mandated by the Supreme Court. The study came out with dreadful results on the growing menace of dragging in the higher education institutions in India. Ragging is originally a Western concept where seniors played a practical jobs at the time of welcoming freshmen to the institutions. It was in the form of social interaction between seniors and juniors in schools and colleges. It was precisely so when our generation studied in college. However, these interactions have taken a very brutal, inhuman and antisocial form at times. It is a fact that today, ragging has become deep-rooted in the Indian educational setup. And now with the advent of uh, technological advancement and expansion of digital sphere, ragging has taken a new form of bullying or harassment using electronic means, what you call cyberbullying. It has become increasingly common and ragging becomes possible through this medium even during this pandemic period where there is only virtual classroom. Today, almost all countries of the world have enacted stern laws that ban ragging and it has been completely eradicated in the countries such as Canada and Japan. But sadly, India, which inherited ragging as a legacy from the British Raj, has not been able to free itself from the clutches of this inhuman practice. It can be said without any room for doubt that the worst form of ragging is committed in India. In fact, according to a research conducted by Cure, a Delhi-based anti-ragging non-profit organization, India and Sri Lanka are the only two countries in the world where ragging exists. There are stringent laws and guidelines of the Supreme Court to curb ragging. In our state, Kerala, there is a statute namely Kerala Prohibition of Ragging Act, which was enacted in the year 1998. As per said act, even teasing, abusing, playing practical jokes or causing hurt or asking a student to do an act which is unwilling to do falls within the definition of ragging. Section 3 of the set Act prohibits ragging and Section 4 provides penalty for ragging. It goes up to fine of rupees 10,000 or 2 years of rigorous imprisonment or both. And most importantly, Section 5 says that a student convicted for ragging shall be dismissed from the college and shall not be admitted in any colleges for a period of 5 years. And punishments have been provided in the Indian Penal Code as well. And of course, once you are convicted for the offense of ragging, your passport will be impounded, your future is ruined, and it will have a far-reaching impact on your family as well. Apart from the laws, there are UGC regulations on curbing the menace of ragging in higher education institutions, which was enacted in 2009. And the Indian Supreme Court has also taken a very strong stand to prevent ragging. Two landmark judgments are there. In 2001, Visha Jagriti Mission's case, and in 2007, University of Kerala versus Council of Principals College of Kerala and others. But in spite of these uh, stringent laws, the fact remains that this inhuman practice in the campus is on the rise. Ragging is a problem of the students and by the students, and therefore, the solution to it also lies with the students. Being a law-abiding citizen, all of us have a duty to ensure that this evil, this inhuman barbaric act is totally eradicated from the campus. The students 
my appeal to you is be more care cautious and not indulge in in activities of ragging which would attract legal action including imprisonment and jeopardize your career and future thank you very much